welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss, and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place, and I hope you'll consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on Instagram, where I cover slightly different content, but usually involving perfumes too. So today, I'm super excited for this video. So my wonderful friend, Tara from Olfactophiles, her YouTube channel is unbelievable. She's so great. You will love her. I'm putting all her information down below. Please subscribe to her, support her, and follow her on Instagram. She she just does such a great job. And I have the honor of selling some lovely fragrances that she sent to me. So I'm super excited. And she sent me a bunch of decants and they're gorgeous and just unbelievable. Uh, I'm just almost speechless <laughs> with, with how sweet this was of Tara to send all this stuff my way. So I'm just gonna highlight some of my favorites that I've smelled from this fabulous selection. And um, I just also wanted to mention, she sent me a pretty significant decant. I don't know if this is 15 mil, but it's big. And it's of the coveted Mugler Angel Au Croissier 2019, which is the mango. Beautiful, beautiful, um, one of my favorites. And it's coveted because it's really hard to find now. You can get it on, Mercari for like $100 um, for a 1.7 ounce. That's pretty much the going rate on Mercari. Um, you might be able to find cheaper on eBay or elsewhere, but anyway, so wow. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> You're amazing. So um, anyway, it's like Christmas in September here. So the first one I'm going to talk about is from House of Siage, and this is Haute Bijou, and I have never smelled anything from House of Siage, so this is a real treat. And I love this. I haven't looked up the notes yet. I will put them on the screen. Um, but I, at this point, I don't know the notes because I just, um, I just uh, sprayed these strips. And these are my favorites. These, so I picked out six of my favorites from this beautiful collection. And this is very floral and very fresh. I think this would be beautiful for spring. I feel like I'm getting florals and fruits. Um, it's. It's just lovely. So um, I'm gonna have to figure out what my favorite of all of these are because I think I'm going to probably be getting a bottle of one of these, but I love this one. This is beautiful. Again, this is Haute Bijou, Haute Bijou from House of Siage. And it's lovely, it's lovely. It's like a perfect spring fragrance. The next one I have is also from House of Siage. This is Chevaux d'Or or Gold Horses, I believe. Mm. And this is, this is like, it's floral and it's it's soft and musky and inviting and um, I don't know if it's gardenia. It's beautiful. It's um, and maybe a little oud. Um, mm, it's beautiful and I really love this one. And I know these are the cupcake fragrances, so um, I know they're not cheap, but I know they have sales too. So. I love this. This is gorgeous. And then the next one is from the house of Zerjoff, and this is Dama Bianca. So this is another house I'm very interested in. And this one, this is such a beautiful, beautiful floral. And this one seems like, again, a nice, really beautiful spring fragrance. It's very gender neutral to me and, and I really love it. So Maybe a touch of gourmand, even. Beautiful, so beautiful. Okay, I need to, oh, I forgot to look in the thesaurus. I am like, I totally overuse the word beautiful and I don't know why, I know lots of other words. Um, so that is my homework assignment after this video. I'm gonna try and <laughs> don't create a drinking game with my videos and the word beautiful, please. I care about your health and safety, for real. Okay, the next one is Zerjoff Grand Ballo. Gran Ballo. Oh, I love this. Mmm. I, this might be my favorite so far. It's so classy and it's like mature, but not like old, old. I don't, I don't care. I, I embrace my age. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's interesting and intoxicating and feminine leaning to me. Um, love it. Love it. And then I've got from Tiziana Terenzi Cassiopeia. 
I love this. This is floral fruity, very fun. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of tropical fruits in this one. It's lovely. It's it's a more of a kind of dark fruit that I dark fruits and tropical fruits. It's not like a um, kind of a bright. It, it's more of like the evening kind of floral fruity, in my opinion. And it's really, really gorgeous. Love it. And then the last one from this um, group is from Guerlain. This is Angelique Noir. I've certainly heard this um, talked about. This is quite, quite popular. And this one is very, I love this. It's very interesting. It's, um, it reminds me of, it's a little more old fashioned to me and like, it's got sort of that, that ambery, musky, maybe animalic, but it's, it's lovely. And it's got kind of a um, commodity book tent kind of feel to me, just a little bit, I don't want to say musty because it's like in a good way. It's like, I like it. It's, it's quite stunning. It's interesting. And I really like something unique and interesting. So I really like this. And I really like all of these. Um, it's so hard to pick. I have to say it's between Zerjef Granballo for me and um, Tiziana Terenzi Cassiopeia. I really like these two. I like these other ones too, though. I really like Chevaux d'Or from House of Sillage. Um, I don't know. Have you tried any of these? What are your favorites? Um, this is so much fun. And again, this is just touching on what Tara sent me. She must have sent me like 20 different things to try. So again, please be sure to check out Olfactophiles. You will love that channel and you will love Tara. So um, thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Thank you.